This is Bruce Silver with the third of a four-part series on IBM BlueWorks Live. In this video, we'll see how to capture and analyze various process details in the context of the process diagram. The Space Details page is a good place to put the project description and list its primary goals. BlueWorks Live provides an extensive list of standard properties you can use at the process, milestone, or activity level for both documentation and process analysis. We can associate a value of any of these properties with a selected activity through the Details panel. Here we have business owners and experts, systems, inputs and outputs, cycle times and costs, suppliers and customers, risk level, whether the activity is value added. In addition, you can add up to 10 additional custom properties as dictated by your process improvement methodology. Here we see four custom properties taken from the methodology of Shelley Sweet's excellent book, The BPI Blueprint, which shows you how to incorporate BlueWorks Live into process improvement methodology. Wasted, an acronym for various types of wastes, a lean concept. Metrics, measures that quantify the target performance improvement. A comments of surveyed customers and instance differences, a catalog of various exceptions and variations in the process. Alternatively, the documentation page, clicking Show All Details, provides a single form where you can add properties for all the activities. If you click the Analyze button, you enter Analysis Mode. Here, process properties that you select are displayed around the edge of each activity in the diagram and are also listed in the sidebar on the left side of the page. For example, here I've selected the custom properties Wasted, sources of waste taken from the Lean methodology, and Customer Comments. The BPI Blueprint book describes how these are used in process improvement analysis. We see this particular waste, E5, occurs in four different places in the process listed here. If we click on E5 here, the activities where this waste occurs become visible as a red icon above the activity shape, even if the activity was previously hidden inside a subprocess. Hovering over that icon, we see all the wastes for this activity. The customer comments were mostly at the process level, and the icon for that is floating in the diagram. Hovering over that, we see them all. They are also visible by scrolling down the left sidebar. Analysis view can be used to visualize any of the standard or custom properties in the context of the diagram. Closing analysis mode and clicking playback, we see a read-only view that lets us step through up to six different paths in the model to help users better understand the flow, showing the properties and comments at each step. BlueWorks Live also totals up certain numeric properties, such as cycle time, along the playback. While BlueWorks Live provides a long list of properties, you probably won't use them all. To customize the tool for your particular needs, a BlueWorks Live user with administrator rights can select the properties displayed to users, and can also define up to 10 custom properties five text and five numeric for use in analysis. Authorized users can standardize the list of preferred property values through the glossary. Otherwise, it's common for different users to apply slightly different names to the same thing. For example, let's select some preferred values for the roles used in the participant property. The glossary collects all the values that users have entered. A user with glossary privileges can merge two of those values into one and propagate that to all models that use those values. Here, HR Specialist and HR Assistant are really the same role. So let's merge HR Specialist into the preferred term HR Assistant. In the next video, we'll take a closer look at BlueWorks Live's collaboration capabilities.